friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today I will teach you how to check for a certain age in MIT App Inventor. We might need to customize our app if the user is a child or we might need a neutral age screen in our apps for COPPA compliance or GDPR consent. So let's begin. Go to projects, start a new project. Let's call it age check. Keep the toolkit default. I will check in this app if the user is 18 years old or not, but you can change it to any year you want. Design the screen by adding a date picker from the user interface palette and also a button below it. Okay. I am going to rename this button to submit button and change the text on it to submit to. And I'm going to change the text on the date picker to enter birth date. Okay. From the user interface again, drag and drop a notifier. This is for showing messages to the user. And also from sensors, so go down, drag and drop a clock over the viewer and we will not be using it as a timer. So disable the timer by unchecking timer enabled. We just need the clock for getting the current time and not for running any timers. So now let's go to the block section. First, define a global variable for age. And in the beginning, we don't have the age, so just make it zero. Now add a procedure from the procedures section. Use the one without the result. So use the first one and let's rename it to calculate age. And for the time being, I'm going to keep it empty. And we are going to call this calculate age procedure every time the user changes his or her birth date. So go to the date picker and this event when date picker dot after date set is triggered whenever the user chooses a date in the dialog. So whenever the user chooses a date, we are going to call this procedure calculate age. So go to procedures and use the call block. Okay. Now inside the submit button click event, Add an if else block from control. Okay. And we are going to check whether our age is greater than or equal to 18 or not. Okay. So from math, get the equal to block, plug that in, make it greater than equal to, plug a number block on the right hand side and type in 18. So you can make it as you want. You can change it to five so that you check whether the user is greater than five years old or not. So you can change it accordingly. So I'm checking for 18 years. And here we are going to use the get block from variables and check for age. Now we haven't calculated the age yet depending upon the provided birth date by the user. We will be doing it later, but right now I'm just focusing on the messages shown to the user. So how can we show the message? We can use the notifier to show an alert. And what is the message? An empty text block. And what we can put in is you are 18 or older. Okay. And in the else condition, that means the user has provided a birth date and we have calculated the age to be less than 18. So we can right click, duplicate and change the message. You are younger than 18. Last but not the least, let's work on the custom procedure. This one calculate age. Now, we need a local variable inside it to calculate the age depending upon the 
birth date picked by the user okay so i am going to go to the variables and i am going to use this initialize local name for making a local variable but we need six local variables so how to add more local variables to it by clicking on the cog wheel and dragging this here so three and four five and six so now we have six local variables and let's now rename them so i am going to rename the first one to birthday okay the second one to current day this one to birth month the next one to current month the second last one to birth year and this one to current year okay now we have to assign some values to them very carefully so look at how i am doing it so the birth day is the day chosen by the user in the date picker when he chose his birth date okay so if i tap on the date picker and go down i have this date picker dot day so plug that in okay and what is the current day now this is the reason why we added the clock sensor because we want to get the day of the month from here so if i come here we have this procedure call clock dot day of month and i'm going to plug that in and what is the instant we have to tell it what the instant is the instant is the current time and how can we get the current time if i click on clock i have this clock dot now procedure call okay similarly we have to fill up this birth month current month so i can right click duplicate and put it here and now i'm going to choose month here okay and here we cannot duplicate it because we have to get the actual procedure which is clock month so this one but i can duplicate clock dot now okay and the birth year again we can duplicate and choose year okay and here for the year we have to go again to clock and get this procedure call for clock dot year and the instant is the current time which is clock dot now okay so verify that you have done it exactly the way i have done it now our calculation will come now what is our logic our logic is that if our current month is greater than the birth month or it is the same but the current day is greater than or equal to the birth day then this means that the birthday has already passed so we can calculate age as current year minus birth year okay in the other situation if the birthday has not yet passed this means that the person's age is current year minus the birth year minus 1 because his birthday has not passed yet okay so let's quickly do it so we need an if else block from control okay go to logic get the or block so here we will plug in when the month current month is greater than the birth month okay so from math get the equal to block change it to greater than and hover over current month to get the get block for it and hover over birth month get this so this is the condition okay or they are the same and the current day is greater than or equal to the birth day so we have to plug in two conditions here using the and block so plug that in and here we can right click duplicate plug that in 
and make it equal to. So the current month is equal to the birth month. But at the same time, our current day is greater than or equal to the birthday. So I can actually duplicate this, plug that in, and here choose current day and make it greater than or equal to and choose birthday. Okay, so either the birthday month has passed or the birthday month is the same but the birthday has passed. So in that case, our age, so get the set block for age is equal to a simple minus of current year minus birth year. The other situation, this means that the birthday has not passed. We have checked for that condition. So it is yet still to come in this current year. So we have to subtract another minus from here. Okay, so right click, duplicate, but we want to subtract a one from it. So I plug this one here, sorry, in the beginning. And I put in a one here. So we have calculated the age and we have already taken care of the messages. So this is done. So I hope you like this video and it helps you in your future projects. Please subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of the great projects that I've planned for you. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day and goodbye.